What's up everyone, I'm Mario from Electron and this is Syntact. The Electron Syntact is a 12 track drum computer and synthesizer with both digital and analog voices. There are three different voice types used to synthesize sound in the Syntact. Digital, analog drum, and analog cymbal. For each voice type, there are machines that use a subset of functionality derived from the voice type. The machines have their own set of parameters tailored to give you the most relevant and useful sound shaping possibilities for that particular machine. The Syntact has three analog drum voices available on tracks 9 through 11. The analog drum machines cover everything from kicks and snares to rim shots and claps and even a dual VCO machine for creating more melodic sound and fat basses. The Syntact has one analog cymbal voice which is available only on track 12. The analog cymbal machine focuses on metallic sounds, cowbells, rides, and cymbals. And on the digital side, the Syntact has eight voices available on track 1 through 8. For each voice type, there are different machines that have their own set of parameters that give you the most relevant and useful sound possibilities. So let's go ahead and check out some of the digital machines that are available. If I have a digital track selected, I hold function and press machine to go to the machine list. Let's go to the top. First one being bass drum, got two different types of snare drums, a percussive machine, a clap machine, a cymbal machine, and four different types of synth machine. One of them being an 8-bit synthesizer, another one being a chord generator using FM synthesis, the next one being a 2-operator FM synth, and then the fourth one being a physical modeling digital synthesizer. Let's hear how some of them sound. The digital machines can produce a wide variety of sounds with everything from drums to melodic sounds and even chords. As I go through the different machines, you'll notice that each machine has their own unique set of animations. These animations help out by visualizing what you're doing with the sound. So if I go here on this hi-hat, got this little alien coming into orbit. The modulation amount, you could kind of see that it's modulating the wave. kind of steering away from just having values as a parameter, but more of a visual representation so that you could tune in onto your sound. On the digital voices, it's FM synthesis that's inspired from the model cycles. In addition to the improvements made, you now have a multi-mode filter, bass width filter, powerful envelope, and dual LFOs to control your sound. And this is also true for your analog voices but each track has its own dedicated analog filter as well. There are a couple new and unique features that the Syntact has that will help you with live performance and also writing your patterns. Modifiers and effects track. So modifiers is a way that you could modify or change your sound. There's four of them with two of them that are normal to a set parameter. Modifier one is set to retrig. Modifier two is set to velocity. And mod A and mod B are assignable to a parameter. Let's set up some retrig values and hear how the modifiers affect the track. Hold function and press up or down and now you're in modifier setup. Here, you could select whether the modifier trigs the track or not and you also have the ability to set a division of the beat to retrig that track. Now let's go to modifier 2, which is velocity. Function, select modifier 2, go into modifier setup. Now I'm in velocity setup. I'm going to turn on trig, 
and set my values. I'm going to set this one up to 103, this one about right there, this one halfway, and this one pretty low. All of this could be recorded into your sequencer, so if you want to add some variety in your velocity without parameter locking in, this is the way to do it. On both modifier A and modifier B, you have destinations that you could send this value to. So I'll go ahead and turn this on, and some of the ones that you could send it to are tune. So let me turn this up to a certain value. The modifier destination only assigns to parameters that are same across all machines. So that's going to be tune, decay, and overdrive, and your filter settings, amp settings, and LFO settings. You could get an open hi-hat, closed hi-hat choke effect with this. So with mod A and mod B, you have two different destinations that you could send modifiers to. The modifier information gets saved into your pattern, so you could change it throughout each pattern if you like, or copy it over to your next pattern if you want to keep those settings the same. When you have trig on, it will trigger the track you have selected. When you have trig off, the modifier setting will be applied when you press the actual track. So let's get into the effects track. The effects track is its own dedicated track that allows you to route any of the audio tracks or sources to that track. Here on the analog effects block, I now have the ability to route selected audio tracks to a dedicated effects track. So if you see here, I have access to all my tracks here illuminated dimly, um, also including our delay return, reverb return, and our external input. So let's hear how it sounds without any uh, effects applied on. So let's see what's going on. I'll go and enter the effects track here. Exit routing. So when I exit the effects routing, I'm on the effects track. And I can see that it's illuminated here, so I know I'm in the effects track. Um, on the synth page, you have access to analog overdrive. Let's hear how that sounds. So with that, you could start crunching stuff up, adding some analog warmth and distortion to the incoming signal. And when I go over to the filter, you could see that there's a multi-mode analog filter for the effects track. And if I scroll through these, you could see there's a lot of different curves, some one that you're used to and some interesting utility curves. Um, and also there's an envelope follower that you could set the uh, to the filter, and because the effects track has a dedicated uh, sequencer, you can set these trigs to uh, trigger the envelope. And also, all of this, all of these parameters are parameter lockable. So you can get changing the sh shape per step, changing the envelope amount, putting some uh, filter delay on the uh, multi-mode filter. A lot of different possibilities with this filter and the sequencer together. And then when I go to the amp page, um, this amplitude is actually a negative envelope amplitude. So when it gets triggered by the um, trig in the sequence, uh, what it's doing, it's going to apply that negative amp envelope to the actual volume or amp um, on the effects track. So you could get some sidechain pumping going on um, and actually have some really control of 
the length of it. So you could really shape how it's affecting the sound when um, it's getting triggered by that. And also on the amp page, you have access to the delay and reverb sends and your panning as well. So when the audio is being routed and going through the filter on the effects page, you could send out to that your delay and your reverb. Um, there's also two LFOs that could be assigned to any of these parameters in the effects track. Um, but also another great thing is that these are also assignable to your effects parameters. So delay time, you could uh, assign it to your delay time and get some like tape delay type of effects going on. Um, and you know, you could get very creative with the effects track, creating your own effects per pattern um, because the effects track information gets saved per pattern. So let's just go ahead and hear how this sounds, what I have set up here. Thanks everyone for watching this video. The Electron Syntact is available now, and if you want any more information, check out the links in the description.